The key to visualizing, imagining successfully is to do it with your higher self, your divine self, your real self, or your inner man, like Neville Goddard says. Uh, and not with your personality, this human identity, uh, what you call yourself, because it has a past, it has limitations, it has a story about itself that hinders us, is un, us in imagination. I recently came across this amazing piece, uh, Barbados is Imaginary by Edward Art. Edward Art, uh, if you don't know him, is on YouTube as well, and uh, he is just amazing in his interpretations about Neville Goddard's teachings, like no other. So I'm a huge fan. Uh, anyways, his uh, Barbados is Imaginary is on Reddit. I've read it recently. And he talks about something very, very significant about imagination. Uh, that is, there is a whole world of imagination that is separate from this world. We, when we imagine, we take this world, this limitation, this personality into our imaginative world. And what happens? For example, I want a, uh, I want a BMW and uh, from this world, in this uh, personality, I would say, oh, I don't have enough money. How I'm going to get it? Uh, I don't have a good job, blah, 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 right? Limitations. But for your inner man, if you could just close your eyes and imagine you're sitting in your car and you can feel the leather, leather steering and the comfy seats and you can see the BMW logo right in front of you on the steering wheel. Can't you? It's so easy. But the moment you take your personality with you in imagination, you fear. You start fearing your imagination. You, you think, how am I going to get it? This is not real. This is fake. And uh, I can't have this. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Do you see the point? So Edward Art made this amazing distinction that uh, the inner man doesn't want things. He just becomes it. He just, be, he just lives the thing. For example, you are... Uh, um, Here's an amazing exercise for you that you can just close your eyes right now and imagine that you're holding a jar of pickles, this glass jar. Can't you feel this uh, distinct feeling of glass jar in your hand? Now open it up. Can't you feel it? It's so easy. Open it up, take out a pickle and eat it. The reason why I'm making you imagine pickles, they have a very distinct taste that is very easy to imagine. Now, you can eat the pickle, you can open a jar, you can feel the glass jar. Now, if you can feel all those feelings, all of these things must exist in some realm, right? As Naval Gardar says, that if these are sense perception of the spiritual world, the imaginary world, and you can feel all of them. Now, what are we doing here? We are imagining from our higher self, our inner man, is picking up the jar, is filling it, is opening the jar and eating the pickle. Now, what did we do here? We, we enacted a scene. We, uh, we are being a person who has the glass jar of pickle and is eating the pickle. We are not worrying about it. We are not, oh my God, where am I going to get the pickle? For example, I live in a country where <laughs> there are no pickles and I don't have money to even buy pickles. Do you see the point? So the personality is of this world, this world of sense perception, this illusion we call reality. But the inner man lives in the spiritual world which is not different from this world. The sp this world comes from the spiritual world. But the inner man has access to all that you want right now, this very moment, in your imagination. Just like you imagine the pickle jar, you can imagine sitting in a BMW right now. You can imagine, for example, holding a tennis ball. Can't you feel the distinctness, the fur of a tennis ball? Can't you squeeze it? So inner man just becomes something immediately because it has everything while when we try to imagine something for example uh, of, uh, being with your loved one or you know having a new job or etc you bring your want your desperate need for that thing into your imagination while listen to the words of Neville Goddard when he says this is also in by the way in the Barbados is imaginary writing by Edward R 
that when he says you climb a ladder, you, he says, climb your ladder with your imaginary hand. He's not saying with your physical hand. Don't think of your physical world, detach from it. Bring nothing of this world into the imaginary world. Climb the ladder, put your hand, imaginary hand on the ladder, put your other hand and feel the distinction of the ladder and keep going. Do you see? So, uh, when you imagine with your inner man, you are just enacting a scene. You are living it in the now moment. You are not worrying about how this going to be. This, the worrying part is of the personality. The how part is of the personality. The fears are of the personality. They have nothing to do with the inner man. The moment you remove, the moment you remove this personality, these fears, you can imagine anything effortlessly. It's very easy. It's easy. It's so easy. It's absurd. As Neville Goddard uh, repeatedly said that it's so easy that people don't believe it. Like it's too easy. The, the moment it becomes hard is when you are, when you bring your wants, your needs, our desperation that we, we feel in this world of uh, sensation because we want things. It's, it's, it's not a problem to want things. It's a problem to bring uh, your, your needs and desperations and wants into your imagination, imaginal act. Then it becomes uh, uh, imagination where, Neville, um, where Edward R. says that you feel a slave to your desire. And that is a very beautiful way to say it. Because you feel a slave to your desire because you fear your desire. You want it. It's your master. Your imagination becomes your master. It dictates uh, your desire becomes your master and it dictates your emotions. While, while, um, on the, uh, while the inner man just lives the desire. He just lives the desire. You want a new house? You go in your imagination and uh, cook something in the kitchen. Imagine you are in your kitchen and you are right now cut, cutting onions. Can't you feel your eyes getting teary? <laughs> it's so easy. Now, uh, you, can't you feel the knife piercing through the onion slowly? Well, that's imagination of your inner man. Now, bring your personality into it. Oh, how can I have this house? It's so beautiful. I'm not worthy. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. How am I going to get it? I don't even have a job. You see, <laughs> the moment you try to make it feel real, you are putting your effort into it and you're trying to imagine it, boom, the whole mood is uh, gone. You can't imagine and you feel like a hopeless slave to your desire. And you feel a slave into your imagination, even though your imagination is a realm that you have complete control over. It's your mind. It's your brain. It's your world. And the reason, as Edward Art says, is because we bring our uh, personality into Barbados, while Barbados is imaginary. Uh, like when Neville, Ward Neville Goddard wanted to go to Barbados, he imagined the palm trees. And when he was walking, he was imagining that he was walking on the breezy um, sea coast and he can feel the sea air and all this. Now, th those things were of the sensation of the spiritual man. That's the distinction. Those were spiritual sensations. He was living in Barbados because in his imagination, Barbados is, there is an exact duplicate of Barbados, which is real in imagination, and he's living there. Uh, now I'm recalling a story from the book, The Law and the Promise of, by Neville Goddard, where there's, there was a woman who wanted to rent a, an apartment so she could live, she could move to a new apartment, I believe with her family. Uh, but the crux of the story is that uh, Neville Goddard told her to go sleep in your a house there where you want to be. Go sleep in that bedroom tonight where you want to be. And she said, how can I? It's so far away. I can't just move there. Like, it's not physically possible. He said, by your spiritual self. Like, go sleep in your imagination, in your bed, in the house that you want to be. Now, uh, now pay attention to the world. In your imagination, in, in that bed. So, He's not talking about the physical. Don't bring the physical into imagination. 
you just live your desire with your inner man in your imagination don't think about how don't think about when don't that those are the worries of uh, the mind the personality which messes up everything so but your inner man can right now can't he right now your inner man sleep in some hotel room can't he do that like imagine yourself lying in a fluffy fluffiest of the fluffiest hotel room uh, bed and you can uh, hear the seashore there is a window next to you where you can hear the sea waves crashing it's so easy but the moment you think about how i'm going to get this to hotel for example it's in japan and i don't have the money i don't have the visa personality problems then uh, the scene is ruined so imagination is so easy and it becomes a reality so effortlessly when you just be you just live your desire in your imagination we are your inner man because that realm is completely yours it's an exact duplicate of this world because your what you're conscious of you can create it in imagination effortlessly uh, but don't don't bring your want into it like i must have this or i those are the questions of the personality you just sit down relax and just imagine and live your desire in the now moment and you will feel this amazing sensation of having it and fulfillment will just burst through like entire your entire body and the moment you do it fall asleep to it and it will become a reality so again shout out to the the amazing article by edward art uh, you should read it it's amazing maybe it will it will give you more aha moments of how to imagine effortlessly i will put the link in the description but until next time bye bye